The Worcester Novices Chase is next as a three mile grade two. Basic cruising at the top for David Robertson, executives Pirin, Jamie Hopkins, Great Saddler, Darren Thompson, Nocdoli and Robin James Shea, Monopole Fred, Jamie Hopkins, Strangers Call, Martin Lynn, and Window Rock Lover for Vinnie Gerard, Cloak of Magic, Leon Van Rensburg, Langley Star, Graham Clutterbox, Spherical Lady, Jim Murray, The Wild Witch, Joshua Sutherland, Ultimate Way, Leon Van Rensburg, Vermillion Nearer, James Shea, and Wild Rose for David Hooley. Field of 14 then. In the. Worcester Novices Hurdle. Oh, there they go. Their way towards the first fence. With Wild Rose. Just about to lead on the near side. Strangers call made a really bad mistake. At the first. And it's subsequently dropped into the middle of the field. Window Rock Lover was slowly away. And he's about four or five lengths adrift of the rest of them at this point. But it's Wild Rose who leads over the second. Which they all get over okay. Strangers call again a bit slow and is now. One from the back with just the slow starting window rotten over behind. But Wild Rose has opened up into a five length lead. With the Jim Murray Gray Spherical Lady probably just about second. We've got its inside. Dolian Robin, I think it is. And it could be Vermillion Nearer. I think it's Vermillion Nearer, I think. But they're pretty tightly grouped now with the exception of the leader who's got a five length lead. Wild Witch is just second, then the Grey Spherical Lady wide on the track, Langley Star, as they get to the third, which they're all over, although Cloak of Magic was a little bit untidy, and that one is now the new back marker, so the back marker is changing with considerable alacrity, whereas the lead remains purely in the grasp of Wild Rose, who leads by four lengths. Do the Wild Witch in second, Nocturnian Robin third, Spherical Lady fourth, as they get to the fourth, which they all stream over nicely, all jump that one okay. Would have remained pretty much the same. I had to try and just double handed in. This is the get out. Oh, he's gone. The leader's gone. Wild Rose crashes out. The leader just seemed to take an age to get over the fence and then crumpled on landing. So Wild Rose, the leader, is out, and that's left the Wild Witch in the lead. So we've gone from a Wild Rose to a Wild Witch up front. And the Wild Witch took that one really well in front. Mistake by Darren Thompson's great saddler. And it's Wild Witch who's got the lead. Nocturnian Robin is now through into second. Then Spherical Lady is third. Uh, Strangers Cause move through the field into fourth. Then comes Window Rock Lover. And then after that one, Executives Perrin Basic Cruzen on that one's inside. Great saddler on the outside with Langley Star. And also Monopole Fred. And Cloak of Magic getting a little bit closer as they take the water. And then finally, Vermillion Nearer and Ultimate Way, who's the back marker. And they passed the wooden post, then they've got a full circuit ahead of them. And the Wild Witch continues to lead by three to four lengths to Spherical Lady in second. And Strangers Call on the outside of Nocdolian Robin and Basic Cruzen and Window Rock Lover. Then Sadler's Hall is on the outside of Langley Star. And Executives Perrin. Wider on the track, Cloak of Magic has taken a different angle. Now looking at them from the different side, you can see the basic cruise in was down on its nose that time. But it's the black and red of the Wild Witch was the clear leader. And the grey horse spherical lady on the far side, just second ahead of the maroon of a stranger's call in third. Then comes Nocdoli and Robin in the green, Langley Star in the red, white and green. And after that one is Saddler's. Something or that, I forgot what it's called. Great Saddler, that's it. <laughs> For Darren Thompson with the white sleeves. Then Basic Cruzen in the Moven Turquoise as they take the next. Mr. Jamie Hopkins' is purple clad runners is next. That's Executives Perrin. Then come the Leon Van Rensburg Perrin, the Blue Cloak of Magic and Ultimate White. With the second James J. Also a million nearer in the dark green on the outside of the light green. Oh, window Rock of a Finney Gerald and just gone past both of those. Monopole Fred, the second of Jamie Hopkins, two in his purple with the white seams, but the lead of the white witch then will lead over to 13, took that a little bit slowly, Langley Star being much closer in second now, then comes Strangers Call in third, Great Saddler is fourth, Cloak of Magic is the one who's creeping closer, Spherical Lady is still there, Basic Cruise in, not out of it yet, this one is still wide open, but Langley Star has now crept into the lead as they race towards the final seven furlongs in this one then, and it's Langley Star who's gone on from the Wild Witch in second, Great Saddler is third and Spherical Lady is fourth, then comes Strangers Call, and Cloak of Magic with Basic Cruise in 
After that, a little bit of a gap then to Noctolian Robin and Monopole Fred. Executives pairing is a couple of lengths behind them as they take the next. And Langley Star landed in the lead. And it's about a length and a half clear of the Wild Witch, who's in second. Spherical Lady is third. Great Satter is fourth. And Cloak of Magic on the outside of Strangers Calling. Basic Cruise in. Monopole Fred continuing to run on. So to Ultimate Way. But they're coming down towards the final four furlongs now. And the final four fences. And Strangers Call now being driven up the outside to come to take it up over that one. Strangers Call landed in the lead. From in second place, Langley Star. Then the Wild Witch. Then comes Great Saddler. Spherical Ladies after that one. Basic Cruise in an ultimate way this is the final ditch three out and strangers calls over it clearing the lead from great sadder in second the wild witch now starting to tread water back in third langley star in fourth on the inside very cool lady still running on the still a good two and a half furlongs to go and two to jump this is the second last and strangers call got over it well and got away from it well the great sadder is chasing hard in second the wild witch is back in third then langley star racing down towards the final fence then now and the leader gets over it in the lead but here comes great sadler his strangers call in the lead. Great Saddler's beginning to close. There's still a furlong to go. And Stranger's Call is beginning to tire. Here comes the Great Saddler on the outside. Stranger's Call's got nothing left. Great Saddler takes it up in the shadow of the post. And Great Saddler is going to take it for Darren Thompson. Racing up towards it on Great Saddler wins it. Stranger's Call second roll, which third then Spherical Lady Cloak of Magic Langley Star Noctolian Robin. And all the way back to Executives Perrin. And Stranger's Call didn't quite hang on, went a little bit too soon maybe, and Great Saddler got up to take it pretty comfortably in the end by about three lengths. So the Great Saddler is the winner for Darren Thompson. Strangers called second for Martin Liam. The Wild Witch Joshua Sutherland was third. Spherical Lady Jim Murray was fourth. And Cloak of Magic for Leon Van Rensburg was back in fifth. <laughs>